I am an in plein air painter and my work is about connecting with landscape in Australia. I then use that research to take back to the studio. I knew that coming here would be an absolute treat because I don't get this uninterrupted time for a whole week just to consider my practice and to be in that mindset and to not have any other responsibilities or interruptions you know, at home, family life and everything else that's going on. It's just been uh, just wonderful. I am a participatory interactive performance artist and I mainly focus on hacking electronics and using virtual reality to give basically a pain experience to participants. Because of COVID, I am no longer able to work on this project. So what the Accessible Arts has provided for me at the Bondanon is for me to be able to explore um, alternative materiality and for me to experiment, um, but still maintaining my conceptual underpinning about persistent pain. I, I would gather inspiration from microscopic uh, landscapes. So I would gather little bits of moss and lichen and wood and things like that and I would put them underneath a microscope and I would get influence from that and paint. Landscape, what, what I like to call landscapes. So while I've been here, I've been working on a feature film. Um, it's about uh, young girls in juvenile detention and about the criminalisation of young women. It's been really wonderful to see just how the story and the characters have exploded because I've had the time to dig into them. Well, I've had time and space to think and organise my ideas and engage with some visual research in an area that I'm interested in, water sustainability. And so going to the river, photographing it in different lighting and at different times of the day. As well, I've been able to research some of the written uh, oral histories that are in the library here at Bundanon. The landscape here has influenced my work on several levels. As we drove in, I, I was really apparent that it was so much beyond my expectations. You can see why the Boyds were so taken with this place. It has something special. I've been really inspired by the natural beauty of the place. It's made me almost like shed your city skin. My work here certainly changed to what I usually do. Usually I use thicker paint, but here I was able to sort of do it a bit more lightly and a bit more explorative even. I think I actually ended up writing a lot more pages than I expected to, but I realised it wasn't really about the pages that I did. It's about the quality and the depth of the thinking that I was able to do while I was here. It seems to be like you're able to sink down into the work. I've actually learned that I can be exceptionally resourceful with a small amount of materials. I never thought that I brought enough stuff from my studio space. And here, maybe it had to do with that deeply creative historical environment that I was surrounded by, or maybe other artists who were so focused in their work, that atmosphere itself just contributed so much to my creativity. I think it's been a very supportive environment and it's a place where you feel respected for your abilities. I love talking about art, so it's been great sitting around chatting and being great to socialise with other artists. I found um, just getting to know the other four women here just, they're all inspiring. Being part of that community, it just buoys you up and makes you feel so good about stepping out in the world once I leave here and continuing what I'm doing, it's amazing.